Today, we're going to do a magnesium hydrochloric acid lab. It's about three things. It's about verifying the molar relationship between the uh, magnesium and hydrochloric acid in terms of hydrogen gas produced. It is also about determining the volume of an ideal gas and determining the value of, the, uh, of R, the gas constant. First step is we're going to take a magnesium strip and we're going to wipe it because we want to remove any finger oils that we, we may have before we mass it. Okay, so first we will tear the weighing boat. And then we will weigh the first magnesium strip. Okay, so now that we have massive magnesium, we can handle it with our fingers. And we're going to essentially place the magnesium strip in a cage of copper wire. So that during the, the reaction, the, the magnesium strip stays in its place and it doesn't float up and gets caught on the side of the gas measuring tube. And now I put a hook in the copper wire and you will see why I do that in a moment. Okay, so now we're going to pour our 10 mils of hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid in this reaction with magnesium is the excess reagent. So that way we ensure that all of the magnesium will react. Now, it's not absolutely necessary that it, it, that it is 10 mils, approximately 10 mils. We will pour the 10 mils in our gas measuring tube And then we will gently add distilled water to our test tube, I mean our gas measuring tube. Uh, and we'll do it so gently because we do not want really the water to mix with the hydrochloric acid. We want the hydrochloric acid solution to remain at the bottom. Now we have to make sure that there is no air trapped in the, in the tube, so we put plenty of distilled water in the tube. Then we insert the uh, magnesium in its uh, magnesium wire cage. Now you see why I have a hook, so I can hang it there. And now we'll add a little bit of water just to make sure that uh, there's no air trapped in the tube when I, once I turn over the tube. And now we turn over the tube and clamp the gas measuring tube that's clamped. And I think, I don't know if you can see, but maybe you should see that the hydrochloric acid solution is flowing down. It's got a different uh, refraction than the um, that solution has a different refraction than water. And then now the hydrochloric acid is beginning to react with the magnesium because you should be seeing some bubbles of gas being formed. Okay, so I want to tap it a little bit to make sure that all the magnesium is reacting and all the bubbles of hydrogen gas have come up. After the reaction, we're going to measure now the volume of, of hydrogen produced okay, at atmospheric pressure, current atmospheric pressure. In order to do that, we have to take this tube, being careful not to lose any liquid, out of here and we place it in a bath of water and we're going to adjust the meniscus in the tube with the level of water here 
so that we ensure that the atmospheric pressure inside the test tube matches the atmospheric pressure outside. And now the two liquids are at the same level. And you'll need to take this measurement as the volume of the hydrogen and water vapor gas inside the tube. Now, this is the water temperature reading. And now this is the room temperature. The atmospheric pressure for trial one is 745.9 millimeters of mercury. Now we're going to repeat the same experiment two more times. We will do two more trials. The atmospheric pressure for trial two was 746.3 millimeters of mercury. And now we're, we will proceed to trial three. So the atmospheric pressure for trial three is 755.5 millimeters of mercury. We have completed the lab now, refer to the lab template provided, and produce your lab report.